Good students of class 5. Uh, today we will be continuing with exercise 4 unitary method. Okay? Unitary method. In our last class, we had done division, long division, multiplication, and those division and multiplication we will be using in solving the unitary method. So let me tell you the meaning of unitary first. The word unit. Unit means one. One. So in a simple term, in this method, you have to get the number of one product or one any substance that you are going to find out. Then later on you need to find out the required cost or number whatever the question has asked. Now here, question number one, I have written here, the price of a dozen, remember this word, dozen notebooks is rupees 144, find the cost of 20 notebooks. So you are given here a dozen, or means one, a dozen, dozen. The meaning of dozen is 12. In one dozen there is 12. So the cost of 12 notebooks all together is 144 rupees. So the question is asking find the cost of 20 notebooks. For this you need to first find out the cost of one notebook. So always follow these three simple steps. Three simple steps. And first step, what you need to write is the cost of a dozen. Dozen. That means twelve notebooks is equal to rupees one hundred forty-four. Okay. This is the first line you always have to write. Then, next second line is, therefore, the cost of, now, the cost of 12, 12 notebooks were given. Now, you have to find out the cost of one notebook. This is what unitary method is. Unit is one. You have to find out one. One notebook is equal to simply you have to divide the total amount by the number of notebooks that is 12. So in the rough, let us divide 144, 12 by 12, 2, 12, sorry, 12 to the 24. So, Cost of is equal to the cost of one notebook is rupees 12. Now the last step and the most important step is you have to get the cost of 20 notebooks. So for that you need to write therefore the cost of 20 notebooks it equals to the cost of one notebook was 12, rupees 12. That is divided by 20. Sorry, not divided, it's multiplied by 20. It equals to so 12, 20, 2 to the 4, 240 rupees. So rupees. 240. Let me repeat this again. In the question, they have given the cost of 12 notebooks. 1 dozen is 12 notebooks. That was 144. And you are supposed to find out the cost of 20 notebooks. So, this unitary method is normally solved in 3 steps. Always remember 3 steps. Don't go more than 3 steps. Don't write less than three steps. The first is the first sentence is uh, the cost of a dozen, that means 12 notebooks equals 144. 
Second line, you have to find out the cost of one notebook. One notebook. Therefore, the cost of one notebook is equal to this 144 is divided by 12. That is, rupees 12. The price of one notebook is 12. So, according to question, 20 notebooks, the cost, the cost of 20 notebooks is equal to this 12 gets multiplied by the number of notebooks that is required. It goes to 240. So two simple things. First, division. Then, multiplication. Division followed by multiplication. Is that understood? Okay, thank you.